Greetings to all of you. My dear sisters and brothers and my dear friends, a warm welcome to all of you from your Pastor Yeti. Revealing Jesus. And for today, I have a special word to leaders. <clears throat> I have a special concern for you church leaders. I know what it's like to be a leader in on Christ's sufferings as well as the coming glory. Here's my concern. That you care for God's flock. With all the diligence of a shepherd. Not because you have to, but because you want to please God. Not calculating what you can get out of it, but acting spontaneously. Not buzzily telling others what to do, but tenderly showing them the way. First Peter chapter 5 verses 1 to 3 from the message translation. Peter knows the responsibility of leadership. He was one of the three in Jesus' inner circle. He was commanded to feed my sheep. He also knew the anguish of failing his Lord when Jesus asked him to be close. He slept when Jesus needed his presence in prayer. He denied the Savior in the heat of the battle. So his words are particularly wise and powerful. Be diligent. Do everything you do to please God, not out of obligation. Don't lead for what you can get, but because of what you can give. Don't lord it over people, but lead by example. All of us are leaders at times and need to take these words to heart. I want to add something that is particularly on my heart. Would you commit to praying for your spiritual leaders? It seems that those God has called to lead often face much opposition and much temptation. Pray that their ministry will be powerful and pray genuinely that they and their families would thrive under God's protection. Nothing bruises the reputation of the church and our faith more than when a leader falls into sin. Let's simply commit ourselves to praying for God's anointing. Pray with me. Thank you for the spiritual leaders you have brought into my life. My beloved Lord, thank you for their gifts of preaching and teaching and encouragement. Guide and protect their steps. And I pray this prayer also for myself. Dear ones, it's easy to go off on leaders because they're always on stage, if I may say so. And I don't want to bring them in a very weak point, a weak vision. I just want to say that it is important to pray for them.
And I always find so much wisdom as Jesus was telling us the story how a shepherd needs to be and lead. And as well, you find the story in the Old Testament where people were just falling apart because of the lack of wisdom. They were just wandering around. So, as a pastor, I say to all the leadership, may God bless you and anoint you in your work you're doing. And keep up the good faith. And may the Holy Spirit guide you in everything you do. And may you worship God and glorify Him in everything you do. And let it not be for your own purpose, but for the purpose you are made for. To love God's people, the group that God gave you, and the gifts that God gave you in your leadership. Anointed by the Holy Spirit. and in the safety of your walk. I bless your work in Jesus' name. And may the Lord bless all of you in your mornings and in your noon times and evenings. And for those who made the commitment on this very moment, take it at heart. We truly are always in the picture. Either way, we are on stage or not. And it's easy to say wrong words instead of blessing of words to our leadership. Remember, they are so are human. And I don't want to hide myself behind my humanity. I'm hiding myself in Christ because he is the one and through his Holy Spirit who convince how you walk your path with him abide in Christ and the closest you are abiding in him in your weakness you will be strong. May the Lord bless also all of you and the loved ones close to your heart. Blessings, my dear ones. This is your Pastor Yeti. Bye.